Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everything. Everyone. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sister. Hello guys, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, thank you, teacher. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi guys. It's a pleasure to see you back. So, how was your day? Fine, thank you. How about you, teacher? I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. You know, kind of busy because well, this the uh, my schedule is a little busy all the time. You know, but I try to, you know, have a good time to enjoy, to rest, to have energy, especially for this class, because I know it's very important to be, be encouraged and motivated. No matter what time it is, I know that perhaps some of you could be tired or sleepy or you want to do something else. But re you remember, take this personal time as an investment. And also that there's something that you have that don't people have is that that some people don't have is like they try to, you know, to rest, to do something like basic at home, but you go be drawn because you're studying English. So guys, welcome. And, and especially I always motivate you to go be drawn and also speak English in the best you can. After you finish your course, you will see like, you know what? English is very easy. I can speak English. And some people will be like, I would like to speak English like you. You know, most of the time it happens. And uh, this is a personal word. Imagine you you watch television in English without any problems. Some people don't understand, and you understand everything. So when you see the news, uh, television, information, uh, commercials, you know, advertisement, everything goes go in English, and mm -hmm. you know you can understand. You can speak and produce a language. Nowadays, that we everything that comes to our country is in English. Television series. Uh, products in English, with information in English. Most of the time we have everything in English. And imagine that people know that everything is in English, they don't study English. And that doesn't make sense because we could take advantage of all that. 
how beautiful is like when you are watching a movie in English and some people say, what, hey, do you understand English? Because I don't understand anything about that. And you could say like, yeah, I speak English. So I don't have problems to communicate with people or at least to understand about something in English. It's pretty easy to me. So that is a very rewarding experience. So guys, before that we start the class, I just want to ask you what we started yesterday. Tell me what happened. Give me a, a feedback about the last class. Pass, continue, pass, simple pass too. Awesome. Yeah, we talk about the past continuous in combination with the past simple. We were saying that we use the past continuous and the simple past to talk about an action that that uh, was happening when another action uh, was interrupted. So in that case, an, an action was interrupted by another action in the past. We say an action was interrupted by another action in the past. That is the most important about these structures. So yesterday we were working in some exercises like, I was playing video games when my mother called me. My brother was cleaning the house when I watched television. My sister was cleaning, uh, cleaning the table while I was listening to music, to actions. We were playing video games while my sister was playing the guitar. I was, um, I was watching movies when and my friend called me to play soccer. So we were using uh, actions in the simple past form plus the past continuous. So the, we were like starting this part. And uh, let's see here. Let's continue with the part of the topics that we have uh, an important topic to share that that's incredible. So that's the topic for this class today is the conference number 10. You know, time is going so fast that, you know, imagine that in a couple of, of days we will finish this level and you will go on to the next level that is advanced. So that's why you had to, you know, practice more and you had to speak, produce the language because later your English level is going to be different. So I hope that you will get more experience with English, especially try to communicate actively with exercises in English. That's my best recommendation to interact with things in English. So look at this one. We have uh, something that called daily round up. Who wants to help me to read the information here, please? Me, teacher? Yes. Letter A. Complete the new story using the past continuum and the in the simple past. Use the verb giving then compare it with your partner. Yes. Okay, that's very interesting. In that case, as you read, so we had to complete the news stories, you know. And combining the past continuous and the simple past, like the examples that we um, socialized um, yesterday in the class. And, and after that, we're going to compare the possible answers. So it says daily roundup. So you can see here the pictures of a man that is diving and also divers hit the jackpot. Yes. Um, hello? Hola, hola, buenas noches a todos. Eh, los, los interrumpo un minutito de su clase, discúlpenme, eh, nada más para brindar unas indicaciones. A todos los participantes les solicito de la manera más atenta, por favor, hacer el envío del comprobante de manual. Hay muchos que están pendientes, requerimos este, este de comprobante y eh, recuerden que ya estamos eh, recibiendo documentos de reinscripción. 
Hay algunos que están pendientes, ya estamos armando los grupos, ¿verdad? Y requerimos esto con urgencia para verificar si ustedes darán continuidad a su proceso eh, formativo. Esperemos que sí, ¿verdad? Esperamos contar con todos. Así que, importante, no se van a procesar documentos de reinscripción para aquellos que no hagan el envío del comprobante de manual. Tienen hasta el día de mañana para hacer este proceso. Por favor, quedamos pendientes y yo les solicito que me apoyen con eso. A su vez, también recordarles de la plataforma de aprendizaje hay muchos que no están al día que van atrasaditos, yo requiero por favor que se me pongan al día que verifiquen cada sección, que cada una cuente con un mínimo eh, del 80% porque no porque verdad, eh, yo sé que ustedes pueden llegar al 100% ustedes pueden, así que para el día jueves estaríamos verificando que estén completos en la sección 4 y eh, la mitad de la sección 5, ¿ok? Así que eh, les pido por favor que me apoyen con eso y quedamos pendientes con los comprobantes y los documentos de reinscripción para aquellos que siguen pendientes, ¿ok? Muchísimas gracias a todos. Pasen feliz noche. Thank gracias, you. Victoria. Thank you. Thank you for the information. Thank you so much. Ok, guys, so you have listened to this valuable information that you have to take into account uh, for this course. Remember that we need to take advantage about this program that is very successful with all the best here. And also we can like continue working so hard and also learning. You know that you're going to advance, so it's, it's very good because imagine there are some people that they, they have started starting English since the basic English level and model one and two. And imagine you are pre-advanced, you have walked a lot. So keep it up working so hard and try to get all the documents on time and it's um, according to the instructions given. So let's see what happened there. Okay, so we can see here the daily round up. So we can appreciate here three parts. A divers hit the jackpot while divers in parentheses off the coast of Florida. They uh, discover in parentheses a shipwreck containing gold worth Two million. The divers of film showed about a coral reef when they find the gold. So you had to read the statement and also try to, to write, uh, use past continuous or simple past according to the context. So let's see what happened and then we will socialize the answers together. So I will give you a couple of minutes to do that. We, we start with the first one and then the four elect customers and the last one that is called rescue the ambulance. So I want you to try to complete using the past continuous and the simple past form. If you have any questions or doubts, please let me know and I will be more than glad to help you. Let's go.
Okay, are you ready, guys? Let's compare the answers together. And we're going to use, in that case, part of the chat to update this exercise so we will compare each other. We will go on to the first one. And it's, the topic says, um, Divers hit a jackpot. That's the name of this kind of news. So we say, Divers hit the jackpot. So let's see this one. You, you can help me to complain this part. While divers working. We're working. Okay. We're working. So Work. let's see. While divers were, in that case, you were saying working, uh, working off the coast. Okay. Mm -hmm. While divers were working. That's correct. And mm -hmm. off the coast of Florida, they discovered. 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 Yeah, discovered. Yeah, that's right. And discovered a shipwrecked containing gold worth two million. The divers were filming. Were filming. Okay. Let's see if that works. Okay, the divers were filming a show about Cotter Reef when they found. 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 That's found. correct. Yes. So the divers were filming a show about a Cotter Reef when they found the gold. Look how interesting is that one because they found gold when they were doing that one. Sounds very interesting, definitely. So let's see what happened with the next part. And the four legged customers, that is the next news customers. Let me see here. Okay, as a woman was working. Okay, as a woman was walking her pet poodle down the street a hair is stylish no. not it said not it said not it said yeah noticed. noticed okay um a hair stylish noticed them through the window and suddenly had was having okay had okay suddenly had a great idea. Let's see how it works. Okay, a great idea. Oh, okay. Later, uh, while he was creating, they created. Yeah. Okay, while he was creating, mm -hmm. okay, while he was creating a new line of hair care products for dogs and cats, he While he was creating a new line of hair care products for dogs and cats, he came up with a new slogan. Mm -hmm. Even animals have fat hair days. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, in cats, he came came up, right? Came up with a new slogan. Even animals have bad hair days too. Look how, how interesting could be that part. So that's right, guys. You are doing great in this part. So you can see in the chat the possible answers that we can uh, use according to this structure. So let's see what happened with the next one. And with the next is rescue and the other part it's ambulance. Rescue. Let's see. 
rescue and the ambulance. Look at that. Let me see. Let me move this and the ambulance. All right, so let's check this part here so you can help me to answer, guys. Let's go with the first one. The ambulance diver, driver was having was having breakfast in a coffee shop when a woman Yes. Was hopping. Okay, so the, the driver was having breakfast in a coffee shop when a woman hopped into his ambulance. Hopped. Hopped into his ambulance. And the driver was having, uh, having, in this case, uh, was having breakfast in a coffee shop, right? Having breakfast, we're going to write it here breakfast in a coffee shop. Um, in a coffee shop, we can see here when when a woman when a woman hopped into his ambulance, into his ambulance and drove away. So you can see here the possible answer. Um, the diver. What is the next one? The diver, the driver. Mm -hmm. Drove. Uh, drove away. Yeah. Drove away. Drove uh, away. The, the driver. Harriet. Harriet. To a phone. To a phone. And. An alert, right? Look at the chat. So an alert the police, the carjacker Look at the example here. Look at the examples. The carjacker The carjacker Get have gone. Was Yes. Okay, the car jack was going over 90. Um, okay. Was going over 90 miles an hour when the highway what? Oh, uh, finally. When the when the highway patrol finally caught us with with her. Okay, caught up with her. Okay, let's see here. So the carjacker was going over ninety miles an hour when the highway patrol finally caught a caught the caught it heard. Caught up in this case. Caught caught up with her in that case. Yes, so we can check the chat just to to make sure that we are uh, completing this part here. Look at that. Look at the chat. So the car jacket was going over 90 miles an hour when the highway patrol finally caught up with her. And uh, so because the simple past is caught up and the present is catch up, catch up. Caught up is the simple past form. 
So we could combine that case the structures. Look at this one. It's um the structures of, as I told you, is about practice. This is something very interesting that we can also uh, check in the statements. Any questions or doubt? Questions, questions? No, teacher. It's okay. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Well, let's continue with the next activity after we have socialized this practice. As I said, one of the best goals to be successful in grammar and vocabulary in instructors is to uh, practice. So if you work with some exercises for some time, you will be familiar with these exercises and it will be pretty easy for you guys. Okay, next, uh, that's incredible. That's the topic. Look how interesting it looks. And who wants to help me to read instructions about this part, group work? Who wants to help me to read it? A volunteer. Solo uno, please. Me, teacher. Okay, perfect. Do it. Let's go. Okay. Match each headline with the beginning of a new story. Then choose, then choose one of the story and make up more information. One student starts the story, then another student tell, tells what happened next, and so on. Hello? So let's see what happened here with the following instructors. So let's check. Match it headline with the beginning of a new story. Then choose one of the stories and make up more information. Well, in that case, we have the first one. And who wants to help me to read the kind of posters or something like that? Un voluntario que me lea las cuatro que están ahí. Las cuatro headlines. Me, teacher. Thank you. Illusion or aliens, number one. Number two, identical twins reunited after 45 years apart. Number three, men received letter mail 50 years ago. And number four, just applicant life safe a being five minutes late. Okay. Thanks. So you can appreciate here this part, like illusional aliens, identical twins, reunited after 45 years apart. So in that case, you had to match a headline eh, with the beginning of a new story. Entonces, usted va a pensar ahí, va a unir eh, cada encabezado con el principio de una nueva historia. Y luego va a elegir una de las historias para hacer, para agregarle más información. Y por eso dice acá que un estudiante comienza la historia, and then we will talk about it. Entonces, eh, Vamos a crear una historia, por decirlo así. Look at that. Y vemos ahí cuatro opciones. Um, a, B, C y D. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer la A y la B? Me, teacher. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, letter A. Rick Jones got a surprise when he went to his mailbox last week. Letter B. A strange light lit up the sky as three students were driving home last night. Thank you so much. Okay, and C and D, another volunteer for C and D. Me, teacher. Thank you. Lisa Miller is lucky as she was mm, burying to a job interview she missed her bus. Letter D, Ellen and Mary could hardly believe their eyes when they saw um, cash other, each other, <laughs> sorry. Okay, thank you so much. So we are going to check that part. 
and um, we had to match. So you had to match, for example, this one. Number one could be letter A, B, C, or D. Number two could be A, B, C, or D. Uh, three and four, you had to match the, the closest news with the title. Let's try it, and then we will socialize the answers. I think the number one illusion or aliens could be the letter B, a strange, a strange light lit up the sky as three students were driving home last night. Because yeah, always when, when, when people said that he watched the uh, ovnis or aliens, they said that saw like lights on the sky. Okay, thank you. Okay, so after we select this part, we're gonna have a short practice. And also we, we had to be a little bit creative because I know that you are very smart and you are very creative too. And you had to um, take one of the news that you have here or the headlines. And you had to create a news. You will add more information. You had to make up more information to one of the stories. And after that, you will tell this story to your classmates, like if you are a reporter. So in that case, you will become a reporter for this activity. And I will explain you how it is. En este caso, ustedes van a elegir una historia de las cuatro y van a escribir una, una noticia. Le van a agregar más información y la van a exponer a sus compañeros. Por ejemplo, si usted dice illusion or aliens. Entonces ahí usted puede agregarle más información. And also, um, algo, por ejemplo, imagínense ahí, it's something in surprise. And a strange light lit up in the sky three students were driving home last night. They were walking when suddenly a very strong light came up to them. Some people were surprised because they have never seen a, bit, a huge light at night. And suddenly this light disappears in the sky. It was going so fast that people were um, scared and also they didn't know what to do. They thought there was an alien or an illusion. They had some doubts about it. And also they told this story to an important news report. So that's an example about how it's going to be, right? Entonces usted va a elegir una y le va a agregar información, obviamente, eh, in a briefly way, eh, de cualquiera de las historias. Y luego vamos a formar unos breakup rooms y usted va a compartir su historia. Entonces usted va a ser un reporter. Usted se va a convertir en un reportero especial, right? Of a news, an important news. And you will talk about it. So you have to choose one. And also you can write a, a small report or add more information about it. By job applicants, life saved by being five minutes late. Man received letter mail 50 years ago. Identical twins reunited after 45 years apart in illusion or aliens. So work with that one and we're going to take a short time to socialize this information with your partners. Um, it's the instruction clear, guys? Is, is that clear? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. I want to see those amazing news. Let's try.
Oh, uh, do you have questions or doubts? Is everything okay? Everything okay for the moment, guys? Is everything okay? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I am trying to. Excellent. Okay. Yes. Fly That's cool. imagination. Yeah, of course. It, my, my favorite topic will be illusion or aliens because I love the topic about aliens, about life. You know, I, I will write about that because it sounds very interesting. So focus on one that maybe you could be very creative with that. Okay, guys, while you work at that one, I will take advantage to, to check the attendance list. So you say present and one second, please. So you listen your name and you say present. One second. Um, Brigitte Lisette Derazo. Brigitte. Present teacher. Present Thanks. teacher. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe Camilla. Thanks. Cesar Alexander Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thanks. Edith Araceli Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Alexander Diaz. Dijo en el chat que no iba a estar presente. Ok. Thank you. Elvis Aníbal Rauda. Present teacher. Thanks. Emerson Alexander Mejía. Present. Thanks. Eneida Jarmilet González. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Jaime Roberto Aldana. Present. Present. Thanks. Uh, Javier Ernesto Lucero. Javier is not here. Um, what about Karen Suleyma Ceseña? Present. Thanks. Uh, Laura Michelle Arce. Laura? 
Present sí. teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Maria Catalina Correa. Present teacher. Thanks. Marvin Fernando Marcel. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Morena Guadalupe Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Alberto Rodriguez. Present. Raquel Arely Santos. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Santiago Antonio Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you. Sara Nalda Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Okay, almost ready or ready? Ready. Wow, that's great. Nice, Elvis. Ready, he's ready. Okay, so we will take a short time to work in a small break of rooms. And what I want you to do is like, you produce the language. That's something very important to me, that you can produce the language. So you, uh, in that case, you practiced. And I want you to do that. So we're going to work in the breakup rooms and you will share your news to your classmates. And also you can discuss a little bit about the story. You say, wow, this story was created. Or you say, well, I have heard something like that before. So I want you to discuss um, this information with your classmates. Okay, so let's prepare the breakup rooms and see what happened with your news. I know that you're very creative, so I think it won't be any trouble for you guys. Okay, so let's go. Okay, ready, ready? Say yes, please. Yes, yes, yes ready. Okay, let's do it. The cat is Teacher, I had problem in the moment with the um, meeting with my club breaker. Okay, person. Yeah, check now the screen, please. Okay, I think you could connect it. Let's see. Someone else, there are like two, three students, they are not connected yet. So I don't know if you are there. Uh, so we have Dina and Nada and Laura.
continue. Next. Eneida. Ah, okay. I need that. Mm -hmm. What is the, for example, in the number one, the letter is the number, the letter B? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The number two, the, the answer is the letter D. And the number three, the answer is possible, the number, the letter. And the last one, the um, number four, the letter C. You started? I, the story? I don't have the story. <laughs> Activity, okay. telling groups. Uh -huh. What is that? question which will have the best story. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yo lo hice así como dijo el teacher, así como, como reportero, algo así. Uh -huh. Si me equivocan, me corrigen, por favor. Ok. <laughs> That's ok. Right. They say Elvis is looking, has the hurry to close his business, two more clients request his work. What Elvis didn't know now is that during this short time, a truck, his user who were waiting for the transport unit hard so far not did have been report will be continue waiting information. I report to Emerson Mejia Corporation English. Wow, okay. good job. <laughs> no problem. Good job, Emerson. Thank you. Is 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 joy is exciting. Yes. And now. And, um. Uh, the question. Uh, finally. Eh, con, eh, la siguiente diapositiva hay unas preguntas <laughs> hay preguntas este dice por ejemplo eh, who was who was involved yes who was involved who, who, who was involved Entiendo yo que es quiénes, quiénes son los involucrados en la historia. Mm -hmm. In my history, this is the co-worker Elvis. Ajá. Okay. Eh, eh, Jaime ya lo encontró. Okay. En, el, en el WhatsApp está el, el artículo en donde dice Thank Writing you. a Newspaper Art Newspaper Article. Ajá. Ajá. Ahí hay unas preguntas. Who was involved? Okay. Ajá. I will mm -hmm. try to answer the first one. Who was involved in my history? There were two two characters. The first one was the father, and the uh -huh. second one was the the son. Ah, okay. Okay, <laughs> that's Caesar. great story. Finish, <laughs> Caesar. Finish, <laughs> finish. <laughs> bravo, Caesar. Bravo, oh, bravo. Nice. <laughs> It's the best right. story that Caesar. The best story. <laughs> El estilo de la Rosa de Guadalupe y de Código 21 estuvo. <laughs> uh -huh. We're returning. We're returning. We're returning. <laughs> Trying again. <laughs> He's died. <laughs> He's died. A <laughs> regresar. <laughs> no, for this. Was, no, para hacer una noticia de hoy. We're returning. 22 cars. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> 33. 33. 33. 33. 12. 12 lessons. 12 lessons. One die. One die. Many person in a hospital. Yes. I feel so bad for that, that man, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
um, had a problem. The driver. Teacher, do you listen? Do you listen to our study? Yeah, I could. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the, the, also the, the tone of voice is really important because when you transmit something like people pay attention, they are like surprised about what you're saying. So that's great. Excellent. Okay. Hey guys, I, I can move my here. What? Yes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, but can you go? Teacher, I have a question. Hi, Emerson. De, yo sé que prácticamente aquí es como que free bad es como que ya nos vamos o ya se acabó, pero ¿qué significa esa frase, free bad? Feedback is, for example, when you study a topic and you need to summarize some important points in a topic. In that case, in Spanish, it could be like retroalimentación. Oh. O sea que no es como que la clase terminó, sino como lo que vamos a retroalimentar de algunos puntos nada más. Exactly. If, if the, the, there are points. If not, it's just the closing. Ya es okay. cierre. Closing es el cierre. Okay, thank guys. You. Well, thank you so much, everybody. I could listen. Great news. I was like, listen carefully. And I know that we took some time, but I really appreciate it because you always do your best. I'm very happy to have a very happy group because you're very uh, motivated. You are very uh, active in the class, energized. So this is definitely great. So thank you so much and have a beautiful night to all of you. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Thank, thank you. Teacher. Thank you teacher. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Take teacher. care, guys. Bye. Have a beautiful See you Monday. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Monday. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you Monday. No, los compañeros saben por qué. All right.